I have a brother, very recent story, brother in Islam. He lost a job just before this COVID thing happened. And he told me, my brother, I want to get back at this. These people, I know a lot about them and I really want to nail them. And I told him, my brother, instead of nailing people, you'd rather concentrate on yourself. By me nailing someone, it's not going to give me any goodness. Will it give you a job? No. You get a bad name, people won't want to employ you anyway. So what should I do? Look forward, make dua to Allah. Ask Allah, turn to Allah. He says, but I've been asking Allah for so many years for an increment. And instead, he's given me the loss of a job. You see, do you trust Allah's plan? That's the question. Do you trust Allah's plan? You've been making dua for an increment for so long. And suddenly you lost a job. So you think, look, Allah's doing the opposite. Subhanallah. I just told him, I said, brother, you know what? Consider this. If you're holding tight to a few coins with one hand, and Allah wants to give you two handfuls of gold coins. The first thing he needs to do is to make you open his hand so that these coins go, or at least your hands are now open. In the process, you might lose these coins. Make dua, bear patience, don't worry. If the Prophet ﷺ went through it, who are we? We will go through even more. And he told me, well, that's the mantra that all of you guys utter. Whenever we are in difficulty, I said, well, we are taught that and you must believe that, be convinced. Don't ever leave Allah at the time of your hardship. Never blame Allah. No way. Allah tells you clearly, you have harm and evil. It's not my doing. It's yours or man's doing. Allah makes it clear that all this chaos and corruption and all nonsense you see on earth, it has become apparent because of the handiwork of mankind. You guys did it, not me. Allah says, don't blame me for the evil. People say, why does Allah allow murder? Who murdered? Was it not a human being? Why blame Allah for someone else's crimes? Well, then they might say, well, what was the sin of the innocent child who was murdered? You say, you know what? Allah will give justice, but there was someone who murdered the child. It's human beings who committed that crime. The fact that Allah knew it in advance does not make him guilty of being merciless when he is the most merciful. He says to us, I will provide for those who believe and those who don't believe. That's what he says in the Quran. In this world, I will provide for those who believe and those who don't believe. The difference is those who believe will have the hereafter. Those who don't believe, they won't have the hereafter because they don't believe in it. So I told this brother, I said, brother, make dua and Allah will open your doors. And he says, okay, you know what? I'm a Muslim. I've been doing dua. I'm not going to leave it, but please make dua that Allah strengthen me. Trust me. COVID took over, as you know, life changed, I hope temporarily. And you know what? Subhanallah, this man suddenly struck gold. He was at the right place at the right time. And there was one deal that he did that was worth a lot. And it changed his life. It went through another and a third and a fourth and a fifth. And he tells me, please, please use me as an example to tell people don't lose hope. I almost gave up. I lost my job in such a bad way, but that was definitely what you were saying that Allah is opening your doors. Allah is opening your doors. I looked forward instead. If I had gone back to nail my previous boss, I would have still been in that or on that path doing the same thing, trying to nail and I would be busy with this, losing money, going to this one, that one. But what I did is I focused on something that was right in front of me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened his doors.